How's everyone? Welcome back to another Friday Friday. Just, um, I'm on a bit of a mission. Hell of a lot of flies today. Um, so as I'm going, I'm doing little videos of some of them. Um, I'm doing a little standard stuff at the moment, but that's, that's right. Some people out there need to learn those too. So this one's just um, done a few like this. If you can, if that's gonna focus. A little D rib, a little bit of fluff, a little bit of pheasant tail, a bit of a bead. There's a bunch of black ones there. Now I'm doing the coffee ones. So you can tell the variation of colours. <coughs> um, yeah, let's get started. Eh? So we've got a uh, size 16 Camazan B110 grabber hook with a uh, 2.4 millimeter coffee bean. Last one to do with black beads, uh, bean coffee bean. Oh my god, um, coffee bead. And uh, the last one to do with black beads, same hooks. Just wrap the thread up, take it down to about where the barb is. Cool. And then touch of pheasant tail. This one being the coffee bean, coffee bead, <laughs> um, bead. Oh my god! Is uh. I'm going with the brown pheasant tail. Uh, with the black bead ones, I did black pheasant tail and a really dark brown D rib on the other one. This one I'm going to use, uh, I think it's 10. So that'll be all sort of browny sort of nymph for this one. Uh, make the tail however long you like it. Some people like short tails, some people like long tails. I like long tails, sometimes a bit in the middle. So just wrap that in the back there, beautiful. Bring that back to the front. Um, yeah, this is the final rib midge tan. That's what I've been using on these coffee bead colour ones. Tie them along the top or on the top of the hook, curving to the side, whatever. Doesn't matter too much. And then back up and forward. Then we just want to wrap this. Bit of a stretch to start with, and then you just relax off once you get the first couple on. Still tight, but not stretching it. Let it build the body, and just wrap those up the hook shank until there's about room for one more, and then round your thread, bring the thread back up a couple of turns, round your thread. Bring the thread back up a couple of turns. We can trim off the excess. Easy peasy. And a little bit of. I really love fox squirrel um, dub. So a little touch. I like. You can use whatever dub you want. But I like this stuff because it's real guard hairy. And spiky. Just summon them into. I use fox squirrel a lot. And we just a few wraps around the back of the bead there with that, like a bit of bush. Cool. Pull off the excess stuff. I always put little heaps on. And there we go. Nice little spiky collar. 
couple more wraps. Get your whip finish. And just give that a few turns. I always double or even triple whip finish my flies. Just to make sure they are tough. Cool. Then we trim that off. Beautiful. There you have it. Super spiky. Just a little nymph. Um, so yeah. B110, size 16, Kamazan, grab a hook. 2.4 mil coffee tungsten bead. Bit of pheasant tail. It's natural. Some uh, tan vinyl rib midge. And a little bit of fox squirrel dubbing. Uh, the brand for that is actually I've got some here. So this stuff's cool. Um, Whoopsie. They do heaps of different ones. And uh, this is the fox. Fox squirrel belly. This one is another fox squirrel one that's really good. Um, I think it's number 220, which is just fox squirrel, which is really good as well. Um, nano silk, this stuff, great stuff. Yeah, thanks for watching another Friday Friday. Catch you on the next one. Thank you.